If they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I haven't posted in a while, sorry about that, but today we're going to do a little bit of Q&A. Um, I want you to get to know me a bit better um, and I just like answering questions. I could talk for ages, so we're just going to do that, nice and simple. But before we get started, I want to tell you about today's sponsor. So that is the Frog app. So I will put on the screen the app. I have my own profile on there. You guys should definitely download it. It's a new sort of social media um, platform. You've got like a party thing on there. It's really good. You should go check it out. I will also link down below the downloading um, link. So go check it out. And thank you so much for sponsoring this video, Frog App. Okay, so let's dive into the questions. So what was your first horse or pony called? So my first actual horse was Beatrix. Um, when I was turned 18, I had a savings account given to me. I was very lucky. Um, and I bought my horse out of the savings account and that was B. But before that, I did have a pony on loan. Her name was Titi. She was like a 14 hands horse. She's still going. Um, she was quite a weird pony. No one really liked to ride her, um, but I loved her to bits. Um, and she taught me a lot. So I actually will put a photo of her here. Hopefully I can find one. It was a very long time ago. <laughs> uh, what made you get into horses? Um, I actually have no idea because no one in my family is horsey. I've just always liked animals. So lucky we have a riding centre right up the road from our house. Um, so I just started going there. My mother had like sort of a horsey background when she was younger. She'd done lessons, but she never got too into it because she was actually allergic. Um, so that's how I got into it. They say put them in horses, keeps them out of drugs. That's true. Can't afford drugs even if I wanted to. Would you rather the horses or your family? Um, the horses. Like, I need to think about that. As a child, were your parents strict? Um, no. They were not strict. That's probably why I'm such an undisciplined adult. What age are you? And Beatrix. So, I am 21. B is... She'll be 12 now. Oh, wow. And Rosie is nearly four. Are you dating Kieran? I have so many questions about him. I do like getting shipped with Kieran. He's a very dear friend of mine. And I do actually love him to bits. Um, but are we dating? No, we are not dating. We honestly just think it's really funny that you guys ship us. We are super good friends. Um... And that's all there is to it, really. Where's show experience? So I think some of you know this. Um, I'll put it here. Um, but I fell off three times at a show once. Um, B is a very special horse. She never refuses to jump, but when she does, she is convinced that, that jump is going to kill her. If I ever fall off her, she really loses her confidence. Um, it really does stress her out when I fall off. So she lost a load of confidence. Um, so this is where like our trouble started to begin, I remember. So that's probably the worst show experience I had. But she also did go clear afterwards. So I did have to scream at her, but she done it. What was wrong with B? Okay, so truth be told, I don't like to talk about it too much on my account because everyone thinks they have opinions that I care about when I don't. I, I love to hear what you think your experience is but when it comes to my horses some people try to be a little too involved and I'm going to trust the professionals so I'll talk about it on here but I don't want to talk about it on my TikTok so basically she had a twist through her back all the way from her left shoulder to her right hip um, it's very uncomfortable and we don't know how long that twist had been there so we don't know how long she's been uncomfortable for um, but that one ride where she nearly reared over on me was the first time she's ever done that. So I normally would make her get on, but, um, I got off and I finished it there. And I called the physio, no, the osteo out straight away. And, um, we figured it out. So we're hoping it was just something we caught really early. 
but before this she hadn't seen the physio since August so it could have happened any time from there to now so we're not really completely sure a couple of days before this where she nearly had over me she did try to jump the fence in the field and I didn't see any of it but she came in the fence was dragged everywhere her rug was ripped and covered in mud and <laughs> there's a massive ditch in front of that fence that she pulled down so she could have easily fallen and tipped into that ditch anything like that and we kind of think that could be why but she's having another checkup in six weeks well, I say six weeks it's not six weeks now it's about four weeks now um she'll be having a checkup again so if there's any underlying issues we will find them so that was what was wrong with her um she's doing really well now though really good we haven't had any backing or any rearing how many horses have you had in the past i feel like this is a whole video in itself the last two years i've had about 10 horses i started off by taking some horses of my old boss and schooling them and I would sell them. Now these horses weren't well behaved. They didn't come from a nice place. So, and they were horses I loved dearly. I, I bought B from the same place. They were very m misbehaved horses. So I would take them, school them, sell them. And then I started to realize there's quite a bit of money in that. And I'm actually doing a good thing by helping the horses and helping them find a new place. My favorite thing to do is honestly just school horses. Like I could do it all day. I love it i've had so so many um one horse was gifted to me because um his owner had died one horse was gifted to me because his owner couldn't take care of him the horse was gifted to me as they were a brood men that couldn't be brought back into work another horse was gifted to me i say gifted only one was gifted i paid for the other sorry i just started waffling like that i would never buy a horse that didn't need a new home I would never buy a horse that just was for sale people tend to come to me so that's why I haven't done it in a while since lockdown everyone wants a horse so none are on the market I don't need to help anyone do your parents help financially with the horses and um, no they don't um I pay for my horses for everything I always have done since I had B so since I turned 18 I've always paid for everything for them um my mother does help but not financially she'll come and help with making nets and stuff favorite project pony slash horse that you've had who had the most potential i had a 13-2 project that jumped a meter 20 and his name was ozzy so i wouldn't say he was my favorite i did love him to pieces um i loved all my projects but i wouldn't say he's my favorite but he definitely had the most potential did you go to uni i am currently in my third year of uni probably not gonna pass damn i'm a smooth dude um, looking what do you plan on doing with rosie in the future for example break her and sell her on or keep her um so she's already broken um she was broken as a three-year-old very lightly and now as a four-year-old she will be rebroken. um i won't be selling her but she is going on loan I've owned her as long as B and I think you guys don't realize like I have two horses and I've had them the same amount of time and I literally love them both so much I don't have a favorite it's just B I obviously could ride her whereas Rosie was a lot younger I couldn't ride her so I didn't post much about her but I couldn't sell her she's not a project will you get any more horses probably yeah probably future horsey plans so for my plans for this year rosie is going to go on lawn in the summer b is going into foal this year and that's my plan that's all i have really someone asked body count so i've never actually killed anyone i believe that is the end of the video so i've answered as many questions as i can on my old brick of a phone um so Come on, let's say thank you for watching. So, thank you for watching. Oh, I will rain hellfire upon you! Oh, she is not happy. I'm going to put her down. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe. Um, yeah, that's it, really. Before you guys go, I want to show you the new jumpers available on our 
website. I will also link these down below. You can have your own pet put you, whether it's a horse, whether it's a turtle, whether it's a dog, along with the right in. And they're super comfy. And they're nice and fleecy and soft. It's not focusing on the inside. So I love mine. They're very comfy. Highly recommend. I know I'm saying that because it's my business, but go check out my reviews. They're good. So thank you for watching. Continue being bad bees. I will see you all in the next one. Yeah.